Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at this at the rate class directive that has been added to the latest Laravel version 8.51.0. We'll be looking at what is the benefit of this at the rate class directive and we'll also be looking at how does it work under the hood. So let's begin. Here guys, this is just normal div and here guys, we are showing this BG Green 600 class if it is active and this BG Gray 400 if it is disabled. So before we had to do it like this, we had to just add these in the conditional. And guys, if I come here in this browser and I just refresh the page, now you can see here guys, this background is green and you can see here guys, this BG Green is over here. and this busy gray is not added because from here I have passed true for is active and false for is disabled. Now if I just change this then if I come here now you can see here guys this background is disabled and you can see here it is added over here. And guys suppose let's say there are further more conditionals over here and we have to add other classes depending upon the conditions here it will get very messed up and it will be very difficult for us to understand whenever we look at it in the future. So to solve this issue there is at the rate class directive introduced in the latest Laravel version and we can use it like this. So let's see. So here guys I'll just add this dashboard page over here and here we'll say class and here guys we'll pass an array and here guys if we just pass it in a normal way like this so let me just add it in a new line so here guys i'll just add it p4 and we don't need this disable as well guys i don't know why i have written it over here so i'll just remove it so here guys if we don't pass anything over here let's say anything like this then it will always add this p4 class and now guys here we want this busy green class only if is active is true okay so here we can do it is is active like this now if this is true then this class will be added otherwise it will not get added and guys we want this busy gray 400 to be added if is disabled is true now we can simply remove this from here and now guys here this class will always be added and if you look here in the dashboard controller this disabled is true so this class will be added and this class will not be added since is active is false now if i come here in the browser and just refresh now you can see here guys it is working the same way and you can see here guys this busy gray 400 is added and guys if i come here and just make is active as true and disable as false and again if i come here in the browser and reload the page then you can see here the green background is now visible and you can see here this busy green is visible and that gray is not visible and guys if you look here in the HTML then you can see here guys this is so readable we don't have to just look at that previous messy conditionals so it is very easy for eyes and easy to understand so now let's see how this works under the hood so for that we have to go here in this blade compiler classes which is inside this vendor laravel framework src and inside this compilers folder and this is blade compiler class okay and inside this there is a compiles classes and guys whenever we call that at the rate class directive then it will just return this it will just do echo and it will just pass whatever expressions that we have passed into this illuminate support array to css classes so guys it will just pass this array from here to here to this to css classes method and this class is inside this array which is inside this folder guys if you see here guys properly you can easily see the folder and the class name and you can see here guys the class is like this and here guys let's say we are not passing any array then it will just convert that into array so this wrap will just convert that into array so if i show you here guys inside you can see here if the given value is not an array and not null wrap it in one if it is not an array and not null, it will just return an array. If you see the definition of this method, you can easily understand it. So now let me again go to this two CSS classes method over here. And now here guys, you can see here, it is just looping through whatever we have passed. So here guys, we are just passing this array. And now if it is numeric, this class, so this class is key and this constraint is value. If this class is numeric, so if we haven't passed anything in the key, so this is a value guys, if we haven't passed anything, so like this, as a key, anything over here, then the key will be always numeric. 
so here it will be 0. So if the key is numeric then it will just return whatever the value is and here guys the value is this p4 and guys if that key this class is a key and if the key is not numeric then it will look at the constraint this constraint which is a value and if that value is a true the value it will just add this key to this classes which means that it will look into this is active over here and if it is true then it will add this busy green 600 this which is a key you can see here guys this is a key and this class is a key and it will add this class to the classes list over here okay and it will just loop through all these values and it will just do it repeatedly and it will add it to the class array like this and and here guys you can see here it will just join all the elements of this classes by using a space so here guys i'll just show you here like this classes like this and if we come here in the browser and let me just reload it over here and guys you can see here we are seeing this p4 and bg green 600 because this is true and this is true and this disable is false so we are not seeing over here and it is just doing an implode so this implode is just adding the space in between all these values and after that it will just echo it and it will apply it over here this is how it works but one thing to keep in mind guys suppose let's say we already have a class here in the div then we have to be very careful so let me show you guys here so here guys i'll say here class like this random like this okay so here if i come here in the browser and just refresh and you can see here guys you will not be able to see that random class because this is how the html handles the classes and we have already looked inside this css blade and if you again see it here guys inside this compiles classes it will add a new class html attribute and here guys we have added another class and by default html will take the first one it will ignore the second one so we are not able to see this random class over here but if i move this random in the beginning like this and if i reload here then you can share guys i can see the random screen but i cannot see these classes so guys whenever you are using this at the rate class directive you must not have any class attribute so if you had other classes before then just add it like this so let's say you have random over here then just add a space here and random like this and just remove it and if i come here and reload now we can see here guys we can see all the classes over here so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one bye